Hello guys, welcome to Zeratomath's channel. I'm Zero Truths, and the one actually playing is Zeratomath, who had the amazing idea of Count the Vault. Like, okay, that was Sears' name, but the rest of the build is all me. Uh, Took her over heel. I, I told you over heel. You have to go over heel. I mean, I consider I was you just whatever. So we start <laughs> with fleet footwork. <clears throat> Because it heals and gives movement speed, and it's fabulous. Another option, because the whole point of this is just to sustain, right? Another option would be GU, but, like, GU's boring. Yeah, boring. Also, no movement speed. Now, we go overheal because the idea is you're a split pusher, so you want to be more than normally heal. Like, overheal before the fight even starts. When two of them come at you, you've got more than normal health, you're good. Also, we'll probably be stacking a lot of health, so having 10% increased health is, is just lot. useful. <laughs> yeah. And then we go bloodline. Because, well, I mean, lifesteal. We're and sustaining. One little trick about Yorick, his ultimate works off lifesteal. Don't ask me why. It does magic damage. And it, but it'll heal you off of life steal. Yeah. When we were testing to see how good this build is, we thought maybe like the ghouls would work off of Ravenous Hunter or something like that. And then we learned <clears throat> the weirdest thing possible: the Maiden procs life steal. Just like <clears throat> what? It's like the only interesting thing we learned. But the Maiden procs life steal. Yeah. So weird. Also, none of them work off Ravenous Hunter, but we want it anyway. Going Coupe de Gras. Uh, just cause damage, pretty much. I mean, could go last stand, but I don't plan on ever being under 100% health, so... Yeah, we want to be over 100% health. That's why overheal, like, come on. <laughs> cut down doesn't really make sense. Cause I mean, we'll probably be stacking a lot of health anyway, <clears throat> so no one's really gonna have 150 more health than us. Now for this build specifically, you want to go Domination. Don't worry about other trees, go domination. Yeah, no other tree gives you the same sustain, yo. So we're going some taste of blood. Get Be that heal off of your cues when you just... Just, 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 just friggin' cue a guy and bam, billion health and a half and, and you're, you're good works, to go. Yeah. And they died. Yeah, uh-huh. Then <laughs> we go ravenous hunter because it does proc off your cues and it does proc off of your E. It does not go off of... W because your W doesn't do any damage, so I mean, like, you try to. Your ghouls yeah. don't proc it, unfortunately, and, it and neither does your maiden. Yeah. So it's not like 3,000% effective, but hey, it's still super effective. Yeah, more heals off your Qs <clears throat> is enough for me. Yeah, those things come out all the goddamn time. So that's our, uh, that's our, uh, Count room Vorik. page. Count Vorik! There's the Count Vorik page. We shall see y'all in game. When we play Count Vorik! <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome to In Game, where we play this guy. Yeah, definitely this guy. Uh, we call him Count Vorik. Oh, that was Count Dracula. Crap. Man! Mm. Oh, now I'm so Damn confused. It. Now, when, so a couple things you need to know why this kind of stuff works. Uh, first of all, the maiden procs life steal for some godforsaken reason. Like so, so here's the here's the maiden. Okay, she does some damage based off your AD, but in magic damage. But it procs life steal. I don't know. It's weird, but abusive. So or abusable. Abusable. So we're gonna be abusive, and well, abuse it. So there we go. That's uh, that's all you need to know. Now we're up against the Gnar. Gnar can be fairly pokey and hard to deal with sometimes. Also, Ghoul's proc life steal, but that makes sense. To do AD that damage. Actually, makes sense. <clears throat> yep. So we're up against the Gnar, which can be pretty pokey, which is why this can work. If you're up against a very pokey lane, somebody who can normally maybe poke Doric out of lane, this is what you want to go. Because, like, they won't be able to anymore. It won't be possible. No. Also, don't forget to be abusive to your ghouls. That is very important to playing Yorick. You gotta, you gotta just whack them as they try and come up. I can't wait. I still want to see Crazy Cat Lady Yorick. <sighs> That'd be like, so good. Like, so bad. Because even now it works just as well. Because they could just all be cats. 
Crazy Cat Lady York, and I they have to prick. change Pentakill York to having rockers instead of ghouls. Let's see, uh, lethal tempo. Interesting choice. Not gonna say it's wrong, that's for sure. No, I actually don't think I've played Nar. I used to main Nar, but I haven't played him since the new runes came out. Really? I have no clue what you'd want to go on him. I'm not sure about lethal tempo, though. I could see GU being half decent. Yeah, Gu would be okay. Gu's always been on at least all right on him. Um, thing about lethal tempo though is it. I don't think I was gonna hit minion. that minion. That's so <laughs> funny. I uh, think about lethal tempo though is that it kind of requires a full engage, which at least in the beginning Nair doesn't do. And he doesn't really do it much while he, unless he's ahead, he won't do it while he's many, and that's kind of where lethal tempo would be at its strongest for him. Yeah, well, it's not very good when he's in uh, yeah. Mega. I mean, attack speed's still useful, but it's not, like, superb. No! Ah, still got it. You can't stop me from CSing. How's it feel? <laughs> it's probably really good. Trade one. Yeah. No. I mean, you can stop you from CSing though. You're yeah, really apparently. good at that. Uh, I definitely thought I was gonna back up. You didn't. Sure didn't, Batman. Sure didn't. Oh right, yeah. So that got a level two Q. I can uh, hit harder with that. Yeah, true that. This is where his power spike is, because at level 2, his Q does more damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's a little numb thing, but... Uh, is that yeah. going to hit him? No. no. I was hoping, but I also didn't really think it would. I wanted to click on the other minion. Well, oh, wow, he's, he's still going for it. Yeah, he's going, he's going pretty good. He long. understands lethal tempo. That's pretty good. Or he's going to Mega Nair soon. Oh, don't get stunned. Nice, you didn't get stunned. Oh no. He doesn't have ulti, so I don't have to worry about the wall too, too much. Not quite enough that one key would do it. Ow! Whew. I was obviously talking about my own health, apparently. Uh, Why do you do that? I, I'm really bad and keep thinking it's going to hit a little bit I harder just than leave. it does. Hecarim's here, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, Hecarim's here, what am I doing? I'm leaving, <clears throat> clearly. There is nothing ever wrong with my gameplay. Uh, only with Sears' brain. Uh, I do have to admit, it hurts right now. Well, that's good. That's supposed to happen, right? So since I don't have enough for a, uh, a sheen, I'm just going to wait until I can get a Vampire Acceptor. Really? No. Nope. That's, that's a better... Yeah, there we go. And... Perfect. There we go. All right. It's he not didn't push. I don't know why he didn't push. Shivano was in the area. He was low. Yeah, but Hecarim was also in the area. So Hecarim should have stayed and pushed. Nara was right in leaving. I think they should have stayed together and pushed. Because if Shivana did gank, it would be unlikely she could get a kill. I mean, he's 2-0. Oh. He should be able to beat up a Shivana. So Predator Hecarim, that's pretty annoying. Um... That's all I have to say on the matter. <laughs> it, it happens to be a little annoying. Hey, you got one of them with it. Actually, it was specifically in a Shivani game, I was fighting a Predator Akram. Friggin', I managed to shut that guy down so hard. So, like, he'd do his whole Predator thing, run at my ADC, and then I'd just ult him away. That's and he awesome. would never actually hit the Caitlyn. It was so funny. Frick. Just gonna heal up a little bit. Try to get that third uh, ghoul. Hecarim's in the the bottom. That's handy. I'm trying to get the fourth ghoul. Got it. And oh wow, I actually hit him. And here in. Sure did. Now I'll go ward. <clears throat> He's also got a refillable. So that kind of sucks. I think it's because, like, how much you were sustaining his damage. 
he's like, I gotta stay in this lane too. So now he's all he's got his ulti, so I kinda should be a little bit more careful about, say, a wall. Yeah, see he's trying to bait towards it. Yeah. Oh, I cannot fight him. Why did you do these things? Oh! Outplayed! That was great! Jeez. That was a very good outplay. <laughs> Thank you, Maiden. You are my life's blood. Go, Maiden, go! Oh, man, the fact that the Maiden could just stay there and uh, hit him is kind of what won that for me. And you're already half healed. And, uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Just, uh, can't stop CSing. Hecarim's mid lane. Oh, and Nar's behind you. Sure is. Uh. And now that he is not continuing to try and fight me, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, hide on your control ward and back, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> I have TP still, because he's never really pushed, so even if he pushes now, I should be a-okay. Kind of looks like he's going to be pushing, yeah. Most you can show. get your sheen. Definitely get my sheen, and, um... Can I pick those up? I want to pick those up. <laughs> I want to pick... Can I have a package? Have a corky? We do have a corky. Yeah. Me too. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna. Keep you you in. just you rock it in. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh, I can get it. So oh, you can get my control word. Instead of dropping right. something like uh, the Valkyrie, you drop a bunch of ghouls. You can still only have four though, so you're like <laughs> hundreds of ghouls are falling down, but only four live the adventure. Like they can do at most one auto attack or something. <laughs> like that'd be so funny. I don't know where he is. Which is vaguely unfortunate. At least Shivana got the uh, dragon. It's good for her passive, so, you know. And it, handle a dandle. Handle a dandle. Yeah, I'll prop that. There we yeah, go. Where he went either. He probably went back around, though. Huh. Really strange to not see him. Yeah. There he is. So my overshield is starting to shine. I missed everything. Uh, everything. But I'm still scary. So that's good. Okay, I didn't miss the Q though, and that's that's the really important well, part to land. To say to be honest. <laughs> uh, now he is about to change. He and probably he probably does. has all day. Really? Is it that short of a cooldown? Oh yeah. I thought it'd be roughly the same as your ult. Oh god, no! Your ult is so long. His ult is like maybe like this is two minutes over two minutes. His is maybe a minute and a half. At most, probably. So then, his is coming up soon, if it's not already up. Yeah, his is either up or up soon. <clears throat> so just gotta kind of be careful of that. Can't really fight him in Meganar because of that. Does she have all? Right. She has all. Probably just gonna jump out of that. Oh no! Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's. I guess it's about a 10 second cooldown, 10 to 11 second cooldown, so maybe. It was still off. I thought it would be up, but... And there goes that turret. Why? Tekram, why? What? Oh, well you said there goes that turret. So I'm all like, cool, I'm good to keep attacking the turret. Why? Why those noises? I don't know, it's terrifying, to be honest. That hurt is my it, ears. Is it weird that my first uh, thought when I hear them is uh, Full Metal Alchemist? Oh god. You know exactly what I'm thinking. Why would you bring that up? <laughs> Not on this channel, damn Not it! On <laughs> just, just leave. What are you doing? I have all do. That doesn't make this okay. It actually does. Oh, no it doesn't. Not on this video. I didn't realize that was going to be getting attacked by so many. Hit one. Wait, 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 never. Uh. Oh! Man! Cat almost died. Oh, she's just dead. Oh Cat my god. Cat dies for it. <laughs> nice. Chrome. <laughs> Quirky. That was... I'm happy you came up for me there. Oh. 
man, that was. <laughs> oh we. Are you not gonna get armor? Uh, I mean, I out damage him, so I don't think I need to. You don't have TV, which is unfortunate. Also, having more CDR will be super nice because now this isn't 144 seconds. <laughs> 128. That is a huge difference. Uh. Just hitting him just that little bit and getting yeah. the heal and running away almost saved your goddamn life there. If you had flash there, you would have lived. Could have yeah. hit him, flashed over to the thing, jumped over, and left. Now, he did use alt against Corky. That's good to know. Starting to really see that shield poking through. Yeah, the shield's not great early, but later on it does become very uh, useful. Early, early it barely does anything. Now this turret is actually just dead, even if he starts TPing to it, going. Yeah, that first turret, that's first turret. Finally. <clears throat> there he is. He's got phage. He's got black weaver. He got one full out there. I like how he went for armor shred. You didn't go for armor. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't know where most of their team is. Your team is putting on pressure. So Hecarim's dead. There's... Go take the red buff. Screw it. That's a good plan, actually. Go, my minion, go! Get your ass in here, red buff. Yeah, you uh, definitely heal more than uh, red buff can deal. Yeah. That's always nice. Yeah, the fact that I could just keep applying my overshield is pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Now, Legend does every, I think it's like eight or something minion kills, you actually get a Legend stack. So you probably have close to max Legend stacks at this point. So I was just told that uh, Nar has no flash or TP, so that's why I popped my ulti to take the turret quicker. And there's Hecarim. You do have flash. Hey, uh, you're getting chased down by a cat. Mm -hmm. oh, Am I? Well, likely. I thought she would uh, okay. come in from there, but because she disappeared on the map. But uh, well, I'm guessing, considering he was at her tower, that uh, she was too low <laughs> to fight anything. There we go. Nice flash. Got out of there. No problem. <laughs> and one thing that's nice about Warwick's, uh, not Warwick's, Yorick's uh, W, is the fact that it can completely cut off a section of the jungle. As which, I did, right here. Which makes, unless they are like have some sort of real like mobility, any chase kind of not possible. Yeah, so I'm gonna get, uh, should I get, yeah, I should get Wardens, in part because he has um, lethal tempo. Yeah, Wardens mail will really shut down his lethal tempo, which, I mean, will make his keystone useless, which makes him more useless, so. Mm -hmm. And he's not getting anything with Grievous Wounds, which uh, means your Keystone isn't useless. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, my Keystone's not really useless anyway, because it gives me a lot of movement speed. It doesn't actually. I don't think it I heals all that much. That. Oh, it's so good. All right. Where is that? Okay, here we go. You're in lane, by the way. Kills me for about 50. But yeah, if he had Grievous Wounds, then like most of my build would not be particularly useful. One issue doing sustained builds. One item can shut you down. It's so true, though. But they're fun anyway. They are super fun. You just gotta hope that they don't build Grievous Wounds, which, to be honest, anybody who's paying attention to build order or path... Or so, anything, like, anyone above silver. Anybody above silver might actually look, which would make this a lot more difficult. Yeah. Now, there's no But pressure. still totally possible. 
Your team doesn't have very much pressure right now, being as two of them are dead. That's fine, I'll apply pressure so that they can apply pressure. And most of them are missing now. Yeah. So that's pretty much just time to go. Yep. Keeping it, if you're a split pusher and you have no map awareness, you're not split pushing. Don't do it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so I grab some help. I'll probably actually turn that ruby crystal into a phage so I can finish my Trinity Force. That's a smart move. I like it. Oh, putting some work with these two. Actually. Yeah, overheal. Nice. Ten percent like of your total health plus ten. Um, so that puts it at like yeah, you got eight percent life steal from your runes. Yeah. Your cut down has put in 115 extra damage. Total life steal is apparently only 8%. Oh, right, because this is an actual life steal. Mm, whatever. Close enough. Just vaguely unfortunate because I believe, because of how Maiden works, that means she doesn't proc that. But still, the 8% life steal. From I think Rune. she still procs it. Oh, because she's magic damage. Yep. But your minion minions will. Yeah, they will. And they, I actually think, do way more damage than the Maiden. But they also die more easily, so there's that. Your team really, eh, they're putting on pressure. They're fighting some people. Well, I just saw before. The four only more. person who can stop you right now is Gnar. Oh, there's a dead person. That's nice. If you're split pushing and somebody on the enemy team dies, that's almost like a free lane for you. Yeah. Or for your team. God, just keep popping those and get out of the turret. Sucks that he can take it so quick. Holy crap. But at the same point, now he's Meganar. Which means I won't have much to worry about soon. Yep. Like, he still took a lot of damage trying to take that. We, uh, yeah, and your team is still fighting. Oh, he teleported. Go, go, go. And he died. That's hilarious. Love it when your laner teleports to a lane and then dies. Right? Uh, there's no, not really much point in walling her, but if she jumps on that, cue her. Cue her in the fucking face. Please stop. Hmm. Your team's backing, I would too. Most of them are about to be alive. That jump was very interesting. Well, I hear what you're saying there, and totally agree with you. I'm gonna just push this out a little bit harder. And start backing. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Forcing them to keep having to cover top, because if not, you will take that turret. And inhibitor. So, Phage. So close. Blue Trinket. Yeah. Good plan. Blue Trinket is Debatably. really good on anybody who normally gets Yellow Trinket. <laughs> Just because it gives you more range, it has a shorter cooldown. Yeah, okay, it's visible, but you can cover more of the forest with it, right? More of the jungle. I don't know why it's called the jungle, to be honest. Nothing about it says jungle to me. More forest. Um, screw you, that's why. What was that damage? Holy crap. How fed is this Gorky? It wasn't Gorky's damage, it was Cho'Gath's. Support Cho'Gath damage. The one more. Uh, with war mogs. Oh my god. How many stacks you You're got? almost there. You, you only got one. How's he only got one stack? He just got it now. No, it was No, he didn't. I don't know how he's only chomped on one minion, but whatever. He doesn't want to steal CS. I mean, that's why he has uh, the shield. Shh, don't tell him that. It might actually get scary. So funny, in an earlier game, I was playing, someone I uh, was raging at our J support J4 for taking CS. They had Relic Shield. Uh, yeah. It's like, like, of course they have what? CS.
Oh no! I didn't even realize I had a team though. Yeah, support. No. ADC? ADC oh. team. Oh, that explains a lot of what's going on. Yeah. That's sad. Oh, I'm gonna get some wall. Or not. Your heels are just so big. Oh, oh. Got the slow. Oh, oh. I'm dead. No, nope, well, he doesn't not, do any no. damage. He's so fast, oh. though. He's so fast, though. Your team got two inhibitors for that, though. Oh, he's got so. Swifty plus Rune on the increased movement speed. Okay. Okay, yeah. get this, uh, this last little bit here, and then I think. What should you go? Oh, that makes sense. But I like the idea of not. Thorn Mail. Thorn Mail. I don't like Thorn Mail, I'm gonna be honest. I know you don't. I used to think it was like, okay, pretty cool to get sometimes. Like, when you could get it, I was pretty happy. But, um, Since now I'm just like, it's meh. I honestly think the Bramble Vest should be buffed. Bramble Vest slash Thorn Mail should be buffed. Because the Grievous Wounds does not last long enough to actually be useful. What the hell? What are you doing? Uh, I think I clicked on that when I tried clicking up here. Oh, that makes sense. Well, I'll just keep pushing, I guess. Push up here with the super minions. <laughs> that little, like, you guys walk at each other, hit each other, and then run away it was great. Who pushes harder? You were super minions. You with super minions. Yeah! Yeah, go team. Like, Nar didn't really lose lane because he didn't get too fed or anything, but he lost lane because, well, you just kind of can't. You stop, You didn't let him do anything. Yeah. Like, he went, like I have 37 more he has than him. Yeah, he wasn't really able to do much in lane. It would be really funny. They weren't paying attention to you. Plus That's 50. That's so good. <laughs> they didn't pay nearly <laughs> enough attention there. Oh man, I was doing so much damage to those turrets. Corky getting the cleanup means he deserves it, I think. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> damage. Uh... A plus. Yeah. We'll see how much damage we did. Not a lot, to be honest. Uh, up there. I mean, Cho'Goth did about as much damage as you. Did slightly more than Cho'Goth, but I mean, it's Cho'Goth. <laughs> but, like, that's mostly because I wasn't even in fights, Damage right? to turrets. If we look at uh, uh, damage to turrets, um, they didn't do any. Oh, poor bastard. The bastards. whole enemy team didn't even touch a turret. And then there's you. 13,000 damage. Oh, yeah, that is... Healing done? Not actually all that much. How'd Shivana heal so much? Red buff? Maybe. The real question... Well, and he healed probably due to his passive, plus uh, Relic Shield. Yeah, I would do it. So I did some okay healing. Yeah? Yeah! Okay healing! <laughs> Woo! Um, which kind of makes sense. I didn't really do, wasn't really doing a lot of damage, and most of the time I was still at full health. So yeah, total damage dealt. I did the most by a lot. I did damage, guys. I did oh. all the damage. Oh. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. See y'all in the next one. Bye. Peace. Just watched a video that I myself had made with no help from Seer of Truth whatsoever. If you wish to see more of my content, on the right you'll find our most recent video. And if you wish to see something other than my most recent video, then go to the left and you'll see something else. Good times.
Also, like and subscribe, as this year just whispered into my ear. Also, strange like. Bye bye!